Hey guys, it's me, Medicosis Perfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we continue our rheumatology playlist. Today we have a great comparison among gout, pseudogout, and pseudo pseudogout, also known as hydroxyapatite arthropathy. Gout, where is the problem? It's an inflammatory freaking arthritis. The big toe is the problem. How about pseudogout? The knee is the problem. That's the number one joint. Other joints include the ankle, the elbow, the shoulder, the wrist, second and third metacarpophalangeal joints. Hydroxyapatite arthropathy, it's the shoulder, baby. We call it the Milwaukee shoulder syndrome. What crystals do you see in gout? They are called monosodium urate crystals. How about pseudogout? Calcium pyrophosphate dihydrate crystals. How about pseudo pseudogout? Hydroxyapatite crystals or basic calcium phosphate, to be more specific. Gouty crystals are negative birefringent, yellow when parallel. Pseudogouty crystals are positively birefringent, blue when parallel. Hydroxyapatite arthropathy crystals are non-birefringent. Do not even bother using the polarized light microscopy. Gout, pseudogout, hydroxyapatite arthropathy. Cool. Epidemiology, a middle-aged male. Pseudogout, elderly male or female. Pseudo pseudo or hydroxyapatite, elderly female with Milwaukee shoulder. Joints affected, big toe is the number one, knee is the number one joint in pseudo gout, shoulder in the hydroxyapatite arthropathy. Crystal type, monosodium urate in case of gout, calcium pyrophosphate dihydrate in case of pseudo gout, and basic calcium phosphate in case of hydroxyapatite arthropathy. The crystal shape, it's large in gout, it's large in pseudo gout, and very small in hydroxyapatite arthropathy. That's why you will miss it using light microscopy. You need an electron microscopy, or you can use a special stain. More on that in a second. The monosodium urate crystals are large, you can see them by light microscopy, and they are needle-shaped. How about pseudogout? They are large and blunted rhomboid in shape. How about the pseudo pseudo? Small. Birefringence, strongly negative, which means yellow when parallel. Weakly positive, which means blue when parallel. Non-birefringent, don't even bother. Require special stain the gout? No, shut up. So do gout also shut up. How about hydroxyapatite? Yep, we require a special stain known as alizarin red. Alizarin red. And the exam question will describe these crystals as very small and they appear as red clumps using a special stain. We aspired those crystals from the right shoulder of an elderly woman with shoulder pain. Many students have got my great antibiotics course. It's on sale until the end of the month and then the price will go up. So please go to medicosisperfectionaries.com and get the course. It has 40 freaking videos. It comes with questions and cases and even a mind map. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to picmonic.com forward slash VIP hookup forward slash medicosis to try them for free and go to my website to get the antibiotics course. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense.